Hi everyone, it's John from What Up. Welcome back to another video. Now today we're going to go through Peter Franzen's role. We finally know who he's going to play in season one of the show. Also, a fellow Twitter Time member uncovered a new actor that's filming, uh, well, is done filming now, uh, but has a role in the first season as well. So we'll get into that later on in the video too. Also, stay tuned to the end of this episode for my community section. Now, I'm featuring The Badger Reborn, which is a brand new YouTube channel, uh, and I'll talk a little bit more about that at the end. If you'd like to skip right there, if you've already seen the video before, the link is down in the description box. Also, uh, I do want to thank you guys before we start the video. Uh, the channel's been growing quite a bit, and we are inching ever closer to the next threshold for our next contest. Just so you guys are aware, once I hit 2,500 subscribers, I will have another contest, and the votes are pretty much in. It's going to be another water bottle and uh, What Up t-shirt just like this. All right, so before we start, spoiler warning. In this video, I'm going to talk about events that are happening in New Spring, as well as some events that are happening in the Eye of the World. So if you have not read New Spring or the Eye of the World, be forewarned, I may ruin some character arcs and plots that happen in those two books. All right, let's get on to the video. Peter Franzen, Finnish actor, very, very famous, arguably the most famous Finnish actor there is. Uh, and he had a role in season one of The Wheel of Time. We knew that for sure. Uh, we didn't know who he was playing. Now, he did an interview earlier this year, I believe, and I did a video on it, uh, where he was speaking from set. And he did say that they were filming a big battle scene that day. Uh, he, he had only had a few uh, appearances in the first season, a few episodes. He was contracted for a couple of episodes. And uh, he was waiting for his turn to go up. And he also did say two other things. The first thing was he was going to be a protector to one of the more powerful women in uh, the Wheel of Time world. Now, he could have meant I said I, but we weren't sure at the time because of the way it was worded. And he also said that most of his scenes will be dramatic scenes. He would do the big battle scene, but that is not going to be the norm for his character. So we weren't quite sure what he's doing, but I speculated, and a lot of the other people did too, that he'd play Warder and... You know, I was right. I was wrong on who it was. Now, I, I guessed he'd play Ulrich, which is Suen's warder, and I was wrong. What can you do? Um, I'm not right all the time. In fact, I'm, I'm wrong more I'm right, but I have fun doing it. He is, however, playing a warder. Now, the lady you see on the screen here is Claire Perkins. She is playing Kareen Nagashi. Now, Kareen uh, is an Aes Sedai of the Green Aja, the Captain General of the Green Aja, actually, uh, in New Spring. She's also one of the Amberlin's seekers for the Dragon Reborn, so she's involved in the hunt and all kinds of other things. Now, I'd mentioned spoilers at the first of this video, so I'm free to say this. Uh, she does die during New Spring, so she doesn't make it out of that novel and get into the main series. So, what does this mean for Peter? Well, Peter's her warder, and one of two things happens with warders. That either they die with their Aes Sedai, trying to protect them, or they go absolutely mad with rage after their Aes Sedai dies and do, does everything they can to avenge them. Uh, so... The chances of Peter making it out of the flashbacks from New Spring are pretty much slim to none. That does not mean, however, he won't. So, you know, there's 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 hope he might come back later on if they amalgamate him with another character. Uh, and there's been a lot of speculation and talk that he might come back. Maybe, we don't know for sure. Uh, but we do know that for sure that he is her warder because she posted this picture uh, basically saying, hang with my warder. So it gave us a good idea of who he's playing. All right, now let's get on to the next piece of news that we have. So the next gentleman we have here uh, is, you know, not new news, but it is new news to pretty much everybody. Uh, it happened last fall. Now, Pasha Bokhari, this gentleman here, is a London-bred musician and actor. Now, uh, a fellow Twitter of Time member, Geeky Airy, and I've left her Twitter handle down below in the description box, and I'm giving her full credit for finding this and kind of disseminating the information around, kind of found out uh, through posts and whatnot that he was playing a character in the Wheel of Time. Now, they didn't post what character he's playing, how many episodes he's in, what his contract is, or any of that stuff, and we don't know any of that stuff right now. All we know is this. We know that he is in the first season, and we do know that he was filming last October-November time frame around the same time the casting call came out for Asians with no hair. That does not necessarily mean that he is in those scenes or that he's filming for those scenes, but he was filming around that time. Now, it's not super unusual for productions, uh, especially if this magnitude and scope with as much money that Amazon's throwing at it to film in multiple areas at one time. So he could have been filming somewhere else and doing different things, uh, or he could have been on set when they filmed those scenes. We're not sure. We do know he's involved in the production. We do know that he's playing a character. We just don't know which one. So he could be anything from an innkeeper all the way up to a named character in the series with a recurring role coming back later on. Now, with what he's done, he's been acting since 2004, and he's uh, been in most recently The Stranger, uh, but he's also been in EastEnders and a bunch of other TV shows. 
Now, if you remember from some, some of my other videos, a lot of the actors and actresses on the Wheel of Time or that have been hired for the show have spent some time in EastEnders. So it's not a big stretch to think that he knows or could know some of the actors and actresses on the show, and that's, that's a good thing. There may be some chemistry there. Now, who do I think he's playing? Well, based on his body of work and what he's done, and let's face it, his looks as well, because we have really not much else to go on, he could play any number of characters. But I would put money on that he's probably playing a white cloak and probably Jared Breyer. Now, famously, or infamously, I, I said the same thing about another actor last fall, and I was super wrong, and that actor ended up playing Tom Marilyn. I don't know. Uh, like I said, this is all wild speculation at this point. We just know that he is part of the production. He is involved. And if I'd put money on it, to me, he looks like he'd play a really good white cloak. He does have that intense look, uh, and he does have the size to play it as well. So there you have it. All right, so before we get into the community section, I do want to let you guys know I appreciate what you're doing here uh, and watching my videos. And if you do like what I'm doing, please subscribe to the channel, click that subscribe button, and click the notification bell. Uh, that way you'll know my videos do come out. I do two to three videos a week based on news, uh, all Wheel of Time on Prime Centric, uh, and uh, they're not always out on the same days. So if you click the notification bell, at least you'll know when they're coming out. Also, a benefit to subscribing is that you're entered in my contest. And I did have one of the thousand subscribers, and we're slowly creeping up towards the next uh, milestone, which is 2,500, and I'll have another contest then. And once I hit 2,500, I will pick another subscriber that is uh, commented in one of my videos uh, and send them out uh, the, the What Up t-shirt and What Up Apology. All right, let's get on to the community section of the video. Welcome to the community section of my video. Today I'm featuring a new Wheel of Time YouTube channel called The Badger Reborn. Created, oddly enough, by The Bachelor Reborn. Now I'm going to read you a little blurb that he sent me, and then I'll talk a little bit about his channel too. So what he said was, The Bachelor Reborn is a new YouTube creator. He is doing a video series on rewriting The Wheel of Time for TV, discussing potential changes, cuts, and additions that can make sense for the TV show, and will be adding other content soon as well. He's really passionate about Wheel of Time and is also engaged on Discord and Twitter and will be at JordanCon. Check out his channel. So... I've left a link in the description box down below to his channel, so click there, go check him out. He has a couple of videos, uh, and they are, they're really good, I've watched them. Uh, he does a really good job, he's really comfortable in front of the camera, um, and uh, he is just starting out, so please go show him some love. Click on that link, uh, go to his channel, and if you do like what he's doing, subscribe as well. Now, like he said, he is active on Twitter and Discord, uh, that's where I first met him. He's a fellow Twitter of Time member, and he is very active on Nablus's Discord as well. I see him there all the time, so if you're part of that, you'll know who I'm talking about. Um, and, you know, he's decided that he wanted to uh, step into the ring of YouTube, and great job. The more creators, the better, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, the more people that are talking about Wheel of Time, uh, the more, you know, hype it gets, the more people flock to the fandom, the better it is for everyone. So, please check out his channel. Also, this is a call out to all of you Wheel of Time creators or um, artists, bloggers, podcasts. Uh, I do run this community section at the end of every one of my videos. And if you want to be featured in this community section, just DM me on Twitter. My Twitter is in the uh, description box down below. Just uh, click that, send me a message. And if you don't have Twitter or if you don't like Twitter, just leave a comment down below and I'll get, get a hold of you uh, some other way, maybe through email or whatnot or my Discord. Speaking of which, uh, What Up now has a Discord. So the link to that is in the description box down below. Click there. Uh, come chat with myself and other subscribers. Uh, I want to make it a weekly thing where I'm regularly available to you folks to chat or talk. Um, Discord's still fairly new, uh, but come check us out there and, uh, and, and chat with us about the channel, give suggestions for videos, uh, things like that. And Again, I have a Facebook page as well, uh, run by Elitza. It's down below in the description box. Click that. Uh, all my videos will be shared there first, as well as a bunch of other Wheel of Time content and memes and, and things that uh, you know are, are relevant to the show or are just funny. You know, they're good too. All right. So I do want to thank you all for subscribing to the channel and uh, watching the videos and sticking with me here to the very end. Uh, I, I do think the creator section is a very important part of my videos uh, because I do want to highlight other Wheel of Time creators because Nablus did do that for me when I was very first starting out and uh, I, I really did appreciate it. So I want to try to do that for other people as well. Thank you all so much for watching the video and here's to many more.